One of the twelve that escaped with you? I want to see him. I'll set it up. Can a soldier die as a pay your respects? They're expecting you. Max. Someone or something out there is strong enough to overpower an X-5. Be careful. I'm here to see Dr. Shankar. Have a seat. She'll be right with you. What's the story, Ben? Only the best soldiers get to go to the good place. The ones who fail. You know what happens to them? They disappear. To the bad place, where they open you up and drink your blood until you're almost dead. Then they leave you there for the anomalies. Keep moving, soldiers. No one told you to stop. They curl up from the basement through special tunnels. And when you're not looking, BAM! They break through the wall and drag you away. Well, what do the anomalies do with you? They keep you as prisoner of war. They eat you up, little by little, forever. Miss? Miss? Dr. Shanko, we'll see you now. I only mentioned he wanted you to keep this under wraps. After I'm finished the autopsy, I'll cremate the body and send him a report. As for my records, I guess I must have misplaced them. Here's what we know so far. The killer was incredibly strong. Snapped the neck at the second vertebra with one hand. The victim's face and arms were covered with cuts and abrasions that indicate he was moving fast through the brush. My guess is he was running for his life. The body was found displayed on a rock outcropping. Displayed. His left arm was twisted around behind his back, broken at the elbow, his shoulder was dislocated. No bruising, so it was done post-mortem. His teeth were pulled out. Yes. I heard somewhere they do that sometimes to ensure the victim can't be identified through dental records. Usually they just smash them. This was done very precisely, surgically. Could be he kept them as some kind of souvenir. Can I see him now? Hmm? He's male, approximately 20 years of age. The tattoo's still healing. So I'd say it was done within the last two weeks. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Never does. It still shocks me what people can do to each other. What's that on his neck? Could be a failed attempt at strangulation. Or possibly he was wearing some kind of necklace that was torn off at some point. I took some fingernail scrapings. Sent them off to the lab for analysis. Don't trouble yourself. This is federal business. Dr. Shankar. Yes? We're here to take possession of John Doe 20-514. I'll prepare him for transport. No, that's all right. My men will take care of it. You can leave.
Did you get a chance to say goodbye? Yeah, I did. Sorry, Max. I know how much Bennett Yanders mean to you. Why don't you come by later? I'll fix a supper you can. No, thanks. Something I gotta do. I'll catch up with you later. What do we do? They see him like this. You know what'll happen. They'll give him to the nomies. Pray to her. She'll watch over you. What'd he give you? You can see her heart. She's beautiful. The blue lady. Who is she? She's watching over us. It's time. Put this on. Found about 10 miles southeast of the first. Same M.O. Dr. Shankar managed to sneak me some morgue shots before Lidecker caught wind and took the body. Same barcode. Identical to Ben's. You sure that was him in the morgue yesterday? Max. I don't know. You don't know? I'm not sure. He's the closest thing you have to a brother, and you're not sure. That's what I said. Well, they can't both be Ben. Max? Neither of them is. Ben K. 
killed those men, all right? What? You heard me, he killed them. How do you know? I just do. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? Stay out of it. Stay out of it? There's an next five out there killing people? And Seattle isn't his first stop. I had Beverly reach out to Emmys in other cities. Two murders in Chicago fit the profile. Four in Miami, three in New York. In each case, Lidecker swooped in and shut down the investigation. For some reason, he's protecting a killer. And apparently, so are you. I'm not protecting anybody. Then why did you lie to me? If your brother was a murderer, would you want people to know? I'd want him stopped. I'm on it, Logan. Let me help. I don't want your help. Why not? What's going on? What are you not telling me? Back off and let me handle this. Make her stronger so she can fight the anomalies. I haven't seen you around here before. You sniff out honeys in church? Uh, Father Destry. Oh. I noticed you've been sitting here a long time. Since yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Is there some kind of time limit? Not at all. Our doors are always open. Look. I don't mean to intrude, but when people who don't come to church suddenly show up, it's usually because they're carrying around something they need help with. I'm okay. If you say so. Do you think there are some things that are unforgivable? God's forgiveness has no limits. That's a big of him. He forgives things that you or I may not be able to forgive in others and in ourselves. See that confessional? It's not easy walking in there, but you feel a whole lot better walking out. 
Thanks, anyway. Thing about carrying around secrets was gave a tendency to get heavier. Then why are you doing this? You know why. So I haven't heard from her, huh? She didn't go home last night. She didn't show up for work this morning. She can take care of herself. Not when it comes to her family. Sebastian, it's Logan. I need to get in touch with someone. Thought you might be able to help track him down. Name's Lidecker. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. And how long has it been since your last confession? I've never been to confession. You're not a Catholic? No. But I do have faith in the Lady. Our blessed lady. Yes. Well, why don't you tell me your sins then? I've killed. Go on. I've taken human life. What more is there to say? Murder is a grave sin, yes. But killing it in self-defense in order to prevent an injustice like when a policeman or soldier... I'm a soldier. I see. Killing is what I was trained to do. You're troubled by it. That's why you're here now. Sometimes I feel the lady's given up on me. No. She never gives up on any of us. We have to have faith in her. I try. We have to put our lives in her hands. Is your life in her hands? She's always at my side. She protects you. She's always there to help. Then you've got nothing to be afraid of. Good work, Father. I'll do everything I can to help you be ready. Your strength is your faith. Your belief in the lady. Tell me you don't believe in her, and I'll set you free. I'm not a liar. I didn't think so. Well, if anyone's worthy of her, it's you. I won't fight you. If you don't stop me when the time comes, then I'll just keep killing you. Now, I'm guessing you've never handled a gun before.
Go ahead, slide the clip in. Good. On the floor. Now. Give me the gun. Stay back. Don't think I won't do it. I'm not gonna let you keep killing. Stay back. God, forgive me. But still, this has to be perfect. Excuse me, I'm a weak father, Destry. He's been kidnapped right out of a confessional. I don't know what's happening in this world. What'll happen to him? They'll take him to the bad place and drink his blood. And the anomalies will take him away. The blue lady, why don't she protect him? I'm going to the high place. I'll ask her. Did the message say what I only want to talk to you about? No. Maybe you should take the meeting. Maybe you know something about these killings. I don't like it. He blew this whole damn thing wide open. Hello, Jack. Make yourself at home. To what do I owe this? Pleasure. Well, I read the reports. They found two bodies in Seattle already, only a few days apart. He's accelerating. I'm on it. I hope so. At least the others are considerate enough to maintain a low profile. This one... It's an anomaly. Is it? The other exiles... They never showed any signs of this type of pathology. So far. Did X-5493... Or, um, would you prefer to call him the name the others gave him? Ben, is it? X-5493 is fine. Did he ever show any signs of psychosis before the owner and escape? No. Then what makes you think that the rest of his group are just waiting to implode. And let me remind you of something, Deck. Your kids are messy when they implode. <laughs> they had to put down an entire class. The X2 is worth an anomaly. Another anomaly? Now they're starting to add up, aren't they? We executed 26 potential soldiers. The four we held on to for observation will spend the rest of their miserable lives muzzled in restraint. That is not an anomaly, Deck. That's a disaster. Find him. Bring him back to Manticore. And figure out what the hell went wrong with him. up to me. The priest, where is he? Tell me, it's over. Is it? What, are you gonna call the police now? I didn't think so. Expose you for all. I could turn you over to lie to her. You wouldn't do that, would you? Your own brother? Bet he'd love to figure out what the hell went wrong with you. Nothing went wrong with me. 
I'm doing what I was made to do, what we were taught to do. Hunt people down to perform amateur dental surgery? I must have missed that class. You seem to know quite a lot about what I've been up to. Where's Destry? Not that I mind. You're one of the few people who could possibly understand. See, that's where you're wrong. I don't understand. Come on, Maxie. Don't tell me you've forgotten that day. Believe me, I've tried. But you can't, can you? And you want to know why? Because it was the most exhilarating day of your life. For one brief moment, you were what you were meant to be. A predator. What's the matter, Maxie? Are you afraid to remember? I don't want to remember. Because it scares you? I think we even scared Leidecker that day. You know what the rules are, don't you? I gotta get to the perimeter fence. You succeed, you're a free man. If you fail, let us back to death row. Don't underestimate them. I remember watching him run off into the woods. How long it seemed for Leidecker to count down the seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. He never had a chance. Don't tell me you don't wake up with the sound of your heart pounding in your ears. Shut up. Or the taste of blood in your mouth. Shut up. You're like a wolf in sheep's clothing, Max. You're hiding your instincts. Every minute of every day so that no one will know what you really are. A soldier. Hunter, a killer. Shut up! See? What did I tell you? As requested. Can we get to the point? I am a busy man. Busy trying to stop a killer. That's right. If stopping him is your goal. Of course it is. Then why do you shut the investigation down every time he kills? I can't risk the exposure. Surely a man like you can't understand that. Innocent people are dying. I don't know what your agenda is, but if you don't stop this guy, I'm gonna go public with this. Then you'll know what exposure is. You're bluffing. You think so? You wouldn't do anything. You could put Max at risk. And I knew you were helping. I don't know is why. You think this is all some kind of joke? These kids are like puppies you can bring home and housebreak. They were designed to kill. Coldly. Efficiently. And happily. You think because she's so pretty that she isn't as dangerous? They're all all they need is a trigger. You may think you have some kind of relationship between the two of you, but... Let me tell you something, son. She's not the girl next door. You have no idea 
what she's capable of doing. She's not the one I'm worried about. Ben is. And if you don't do something about him, then I will. The bar cuts. Why the bar cuts? They're soldiers. Worthy opponents. But you're not giving them just any bar code. You're giving them yours. War is art, remember? So what if I sign my work? No. It's more than that. You give them your barcode, then you hunt them down and kill them. Don't you get it? You're killing yourself over and over again. <laughs> do you hate yourself that much? Hate what you're doing that much? I do it for her. The blue lady? Come on, Ben. We made her up. Don't say that, Max. Don't ever say that. Normal kids had the tooth fairy. We had her. She's real. Then why didn't she protect us? Why didn't she protect Jack? Because we failed her. Or Eva. Because we weren't strong enough. Like hell, we weren't weak at out, didn't we? I know what my mission is. I have faith in her. Is that why you give her your victim's teeth? To make her heart stronger? To fight the Nomlies? Shut up. You're the Nomly. No. The genetic mistake. No. The monster in the basement. Then you know what you're doing is wrong. Some part of you wants it to end. So end it. Tell me where Dustry is. Your mission's over. You can't keep trying to recreate Nanacore. We never should have left. Everything made sense there. No. Nothing made sense there. I'm a good soldier. I try so hard. Tell me where he is. Where is he? Logan, it's Beverly. The fingernail scrapings I took came back from the lab. They found traces of magnesium nitrate particulate. What's that? It's a chemical used in fertilizer. It used to be an old factory south of town that manufactured it. Maybe that's where our killer kept his victim. Liebecker took off like a bat out of hell as soon as he saw the report. <laughs> Search the forest. Every direction. Find them. Time. It seems his faith wasn't strong enough. We could let him go. Find someone better. No. This is for you, Maxie. So you finally understand what it is I'm doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't leave me here. Don't let them take me. Then I can't carry you. We'll both get caught. I know. Then I can't. Please. And you know what they'll do to me? They'll put me down there with them. The Nomlets. Please. Tell me about the good place. When no one ever gets punished? Then no one gets yelled at. And nobody disappears. And when you wake up in the morning, you can stay in bed as long as you... Give a sec. Just came for you. Was left in the contact room. They were designed to kill. Coldly. Efficiently. And happily. All they need is a trigger. 